So this year, my lab seems to have uh, a great deal of focus of understanding the neurodegenerative patterns, the way the brain is affected, the atrophy pattern and the glucose metabolism pattern in people who have late onset disease versus those who have early onset of Alzheimer's disease. And we're also stratifying them further by amyloid positivity. So basically we're looking in those true cases of early onset Alzheimer's disease and the late onset Alzheimer's disease. And then we also have some work presenting on the amyloid negative those that Alzheimer's is not the cause. They have another reason for cognitive impairment, but they're nevertheless showing the impairments that their counterparts with amyloid in the brain have. And it's, it's very interesting. Uh, for instance, in the amyloid negative group, what we found is that the late onset cases have um, neurodegeneration, atrophy and hypometabolism in the anterior ter temporal lobes, suggestive of that entity of primary age-related telepathy that has been more and more recognized as a driver of cognitive impairment in older patients. In the early onset patients, what we found is that there are different subtypes based on cognitive presentation. We looked in one of the um, oral presentations at the meeting. My uh, lab member, Meredith Phillips, uh, looked into clustering, data-driven clustering of early onset subjects in, in, by cognitive impairment in various domains. And we were able to identify that besides having an amnestic predominant variant and a globally impaired variant among those patients, there are two others where besides memory, one has significant visual spatial impairment and another language and executive impairment. And we will follow through with longitudinal changes in cognition over time. Stay tuned at the next conference. And also we were able to show the neurodegenerative pattern in those four clusters and the data matches very well. Neurodegenerative patterns are in areas that explain why these unfortunate subjects, young people, have the deficits that they show on testing.